What's going on? It's Anime X here, and today we're going to be continuing part two of what if, to what if Naruto was a prodigy. So, they last time we left off, we were beginning the Land of Ways arc. And um, as we, as everyone notices that there's a puddle, Ino, Naruto, Sasuke, and except Tazuna, he didn't realize... He wasn't really paying attention to it. And the two demon brothers come out and attack Kakashi right then. Naruto and Sasuke get in the way and start attacking. And Naruto uses, uses the flying Raijin, the flying Raijin Rasengan combo. And, you know, he throws the kunai and then teleports behind them and then does the Rasengan. This is imperfect. It's not mastered. And then Sasuke comes in with a fireball jutsu to top it off. And they burned them to death. So, after that, like, before Sasuke used the fireball jutsu, they confessed a little bit that there was two demon brothers coming. So, yeah, that's all they pretty much got. Two other people were coming. So, Kakashi was like... Maybe we should retreat. But Naruto, Sasuke, even Ino were like, no, we can do this. So, just in case, Kakashi did send um, Hiruzen. Nah, I ain't gonna do that because it wouldn't make sense. He, um, he sends Hiruzen. Um, no, he does. He sends Hiruzen for a little bit of backup. And... They continue their journey to the land of waves, and they cross through the forest to get to the village. Then Naruto throws his kunai as they're walking at a white, white rabbit, and Naruto is right there and then realizing this isn't a seat. Well, no, right there and then he gets a little more suspicious of Tazuna. And basically, he throws the kunai, and instead of um, Sakura saying anything, um, Naruto, and Ino, and Sasuke, and Kakashi were suspicious about that. And so, Naruto's about to pick up the rabbit, and a man s jumps out of a tree and throws his two metal blades they're huge flying swords and they cut both of the trees and the shadow landing and it says so you're a sensory type ninja and naruto has the same kunai as the fourth okage with the flying ma raijin mark on them and naruto it still hasn't used the flying Raijin. Well, no, he's used it. He mastered it during this month. He mastered it. And he can use it, basically. And then everyone's in their battle, um, in their battle, battle positions. And... He, um, Zabuza tries to hit Naruto with his swords, but Kashi pushes him back, and Naruto, um, ends up teleporting back to them, to Kaka um, to Ino and, Ino and, um, Sasuke. So, in this timeline, Kakashi... does still mess up. He messes up, and they have to come in and save him in the last minute before he gets stuck in the water thing. So Naruto teleports to Kakashi because he put he put um flying Raijin marks on all of his teammates just in case. So he did that while um Ino would guard Tazuna, and basically they um They, um, Naruto comes in, throws a flying Raijin, the, um, flying Raijin combo, and, um, he throws his sword as a divor diversion, and then teleports behind Tazuna, I mean, not Tazuna, Zabuza, and uses the Rasengan. 
And then Sasuke comes in with a fireball jutsu to end it off. But the last minute before um, he could get hit by the fireball jutsu, Haku comes in and fakes Zabuza's death and um, takes him away. Because there's like um, smoke. He threw like a smoke bomb to escape. And yeah. So now... They continue to, they continue back to, um, they continue their way and end up stopping at Tazuna's house to um, rest because Kakashi broke his leg still. So, now, Sasuke would be, Kakashi did show, um, he did show them water walking and... He did, um, he, I know this is kind of weird, but Kakashi carries down a scroll, because he wrote down a scroll of the basics of the Chidori, just in case. And he gave him to Sasuke. I made that up. Um, plot, I guess. Plot armor. And basically, he take, um, Sasuke takes it and starts training for the Chidori. Um, but before he gives it to um them, they do the tree walking thing, just like in the anime. And um No, he broke Kakashi broke his arm. I'm sorry. And Eno was the first one to get this down because I'm just gonna say she has great con- chakra control. Um Naruto gets this down a little easier because they would do they usually would do um tree walking exercises, so it was really just Sasuke. So they go out to just do an extra bit of training. Naruto's planning to teach, you know, the Rasengan. And basically, Sasuke um, finished it and got the scroll from Kakashi, his training in Chidori. He's doing it by himself, so it's not going to get too far, but he's still making progress. So they run into Haku, and um, how it goes is, you know, when Naruto run into Haku, and basically... Haku just, um, they start having small talk, and then Haku asked if they have a loved one. Naruto would answer first and says yes, and then Ino comes to his head right then, but he just d- dismisses it, because I just have to say something. Naruto is one of the densest, stupidest person when it comes to love. You can't tell when someone likes him. So, he doesn't really understand, and Ino blushes, looks at Naruto, and, um, answers yes. She doesn't say who, and Naruto was just looking at the sky when she blushed and blushed and looked at him. So, they ended up leaving Haku, and they continued their training. Um, they eventually went home, went back, and Naruto still overslept. And Ino was going to wake him up, but she was saying, she was thinking in her head, she should just let him sleep in a little bit. So, um, Naruto's still late, and he did put a contract seal on Inari and his mom, and he ended up saving them because he heard them screaming. So, as he had um, breakfast in his mouth, and basically, he comes... He comes and teleports, and and Naruto uses the lightning stream. He uses the flying raging and then the lightning stream to end it off with them all. And he beats them, and then teleports to Sasuke. And then now, after that, um, Sasuke is trapped in the water wall thing. And... Naruto would um, tell Sasuke, Sasuke, do the fireball jutsu while I do the Rasengan. And maybe we can kind of break out of it. But Naruto couldn't. And he used the lightning stream, didn't do it. And he uses a full power Rasengan. It basically takes it down, and they're able to get it down. And... Um, Sasuke still gets hit by the thing, and Naruto still gets raged, and he hit Taku this time, and used a Rasengan, and it basically knocked off Haku's mask, and he's kind of beat up at the moment, so, um, the bird thing happens with the Chidori, and 
Haku comes in to save Z- Zabuza at the last moment. And Haku's kind of dying. And Zabuza didn't really care. But then Naruto got mad and was like, he gave up his own life for you. So I think you should return the favor. Well, even though he can't. So, but in this timeline, Zabuza actually cared a little more. He cared more about Haku than in this timeline. He just didn't really show it too much. And then, um, as that was going on, Gato came and his men and basically took down, um, they took down, um, Naruto and Sasuke and Ino and Ino take down and Zabuza because he's still alive. They all take down Gato's men and Haku almost, he's still dying and he, his last words to Zabuza was, join these people. They're very nice. And just remain on their side as an ally. So they ask him if he wants to come back to Hidden Leaf. And he was reluctant, but he remembered what Haku said. And he said yes, he would come back. And um, they finished the bridge. And then one week later... um. Oh, yeah, they buried Haku, yes. One week later, though, they um, started heading back to the village. And they still get signed up for their tuning exams. And Kakashi meets up with them uh, earlier, so they have two weeks to train. So right after that meeting, Sasuke goes off on his own. And Naruto... Naruto goes to get some ramen with Ino. And, um... Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. He still meets Konohamaru. I don't know if I said that in the first part. And they happen to run in. They ran into Konohamaru. And the same thing in the canon timeline happens when, um... That dude tries to beat up Konohamaru. But instead... Naruto just sitting there this time. He just uses his Rasengan to blow him away. And he just, um, whatever his name is, forget the guy with the mask, Konkuro, yeah, that's his name. Um, he thought it was just a puny attack, so he just would take it head on, and that was a mistake. And Sasuke and Gar still have their same conversation. And now, fast forwarding to the tuning exams. Oh, yeah. During this training, Sasuke and Kakashi start the Chidori training. Yes. And also, Naruto and Ino... Ino knows the Rasengan. It's not mastered, but it's imperfect. And Naruto's gotten to master it during these two weeks. And... Yeah, and... Sasuke starts new, um, trying to master it. Not master, but yeah, I guess you could say master the um the shotting gun and um fast forward when the Genjutsu thing happens, um everyone just turn literally just turns it off. Everyone knows it's a Genjutsu. At least everyone on Team Seven. Everyone's a little confused, and they still bump into Lee this time, but in this timeline instead of Lee liking Sakura, Lee actually likes. Ten ten. Yeah, y'all thought I was gonna do something else. No. So Lee in this timeline just fights. He also wants to fight Naruto. He beats up Sasuke. And um and Yeah, he beats up Sasuke just like in the time canon timeline. And beats up Naruto similar because he said no gen no ninjutsu or genjutsu, so um, yeah, Lee just beat them. Lee was going to take off the weights, but Guy came in and stopped him. And Guy was intrigued of Naruto and Sasuke, you know, as well, because he can see that she's not weak or useless like someone I, someone with pink hair. But, um, yeah, I'm not a soccer hater. It's just she kind of got on my nerves in Naruto. But, um, yeah, fast forward to the written exam. Um, Naruto comes, he beats Itachi's score. Sasuke, um, uses the shotgun to cheat. 
and Eno uses her mind transformation thing. Well, no, that one. She knows the answers because she's also a prodigy. Yeah. So fast forward to the forest of death. Um, in this timeline, things are gonna go a little different actually because here's the thing. Um, Naruto ends up, um, they all, Naruto ends up going to use the bathroom just like in the canon timeline, but in this timeline, he just takes down the snake easily because he has a sword. He sliced it easily. And after that, he heads back and he runs into Orochimaru trying to act like him. So Naruto. Um, kind of starts to beat down Orochimaru, and Orochimaru turns back to himself, and Naruto ends up running back to the um, team to warn them, and, um, yes, um, Orochimaru tries to, um, beat the, um, take, bite, um, Sasuke, but in this time, um, Naruto was able to use the fine Raijin to uppercut Orochimaru, not uppercut, but use a lightning stream um so he wouldn't be able to bite him and they eventually um naruto's gonna take on orochimaru head on and in this moment this is where naruto awakens his uzumaki chains yes i know but i know it's only for women uzumaki but honestly i feel like naruto because it's shown but i feel like naruto could have done it so I'm just going to give it to him in this timeline. And he's able to use the powers of the Uzumaki chains. And he did sign a contract on Zabuza. Uh, not Zabuza. Um, uh, Orochimaru. And teleports to him. Rasengan to him. And then um, uses the lightning stream. And then he starts to take down Orochimaru. And Orochimaru is weakened. It manages to escape. So they don't have to deal with the Rochamaru anymore. And Sasuke does not get the curse mark. And then they end up stealing a, um, I forgot. Did they need a heaven scroll or earth scroll? Well, whatever. They stole the scroll and they run into team 10, which has Sakura. Sakura, um, not Shino, um, Choji and Shikamaru, and they all just walk to the place together, and, um, Sakura tries to hit on Sasuke, but not, Sasuke just kind of turns her down, and Ino just kind of sits there laughing at Sakura, not laughing, but, like, in her head, I guess, and um, Shikamaru's just saying, what a drag. And Choji's just thinking about when he's going to get chips. So that's not important. And they get into the second part of the exam. All right, Naruto stomps Kiba easily. There's no point of going into it because he stomps Kiba easily. Sasuke, since he doesn't have the curse mark and he knows the Chidori, he can only do um, two Chidoris a day. He's not as strong as on that Sasuke, but he can use the Chidori two times a day. And he stomps his opponent. And Eno stomps Sakura. Eno wins. And Lee still loses to Gata. But the difference is Lee actually kind of forfeit. I know it's kind of unlike Lee, but Lee forfeited not in the beginning they had an amazing fight it was just as good as the anime but before gara could do all that what he did to lee lee forfeited and yeah so that's what happened and um now fast forward to they have one month to train and now uh ino and naruto Naruto asked Eno if they like to get if she would like to get ramen. Eno was like a date, and and not and she starts to blush. And Naruto was like, uh, no, I was thinking we could just get some ramen. And Eno was just like, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, they end up running in. They don't run into Jirai. They finish the ramen and they're on their way back. And they see Jiraiya trying to peep, 
and the ones back to him like usual. Like how he usually is. And Eno gets mad about this and walks up to Jiraiya and kind of punches him. And Naruto's behind her, trying to restrain her because she's very angry, furious. And um, Naruto, I mean, Jiraiya turns around and says, what was that for? And he realized Naruto. And he says... So you must be in the finals of the tuning, the semifinals of the tuning exams. Would you like to train under me? Nar- Wait, Naruto gets a good look at him, both him and Eno, and they realize that the red- le- he's the legendary Sani. And Naruto, he doesn't fanboy, but he's very excited to see him. Somewhat fanboys over him. And, yeah... And, um, Eno's shocked. She starts to somewhat fangirl, I guess. And, um, Naruto asks if Eno can train with them as well. And he says, sure, why not? And he says, if you can find me before sun sets, I'll train you both. And then Naruto goes in for a handshake. And basically, he beats, um, he doesn't beat him. But I don't know what I just said, um. He puts a contract shield on him, and basically, they just end up, um, they just give it some time and hang out for a little bit, and, yeah, they just, um, teleport to him, both of them, um, Naruto, I guess, tells, you know, to hold his hand or something, she starts blushing, and Naruto, I'm just gonna say this for com- comedy, Naruto does that old fever thing. Do you have a fever? It starts rubbing the head and just says eventually, you must have a sunburn or something. And they teleport to him and they just um, touch him on the back. And he was shocked to see them and because he was doing his research. And yeah, he falls down off of the tree. And yeah. They ask for training now, so they start training with um, Jiraiya. So they do show him the Rasengan, so he's shocked to see that. I'm gonna go into detail of the training. It kind of makes sense. Naruto find well, Naruto knew about the Nine Tail Jinjuriki. No, 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 because um, Mizuki never got to tell him. Naruto finds out he's the Nine Tail Jinjuriki. He gets a little mad, but not mad. And. Ino still likes him. She doesn't care. She still sees him as Naruto. So that's all that matters. And they start training. They learn the summoning jutsu. But Ino didn't want to get a frog. So um, Ino just um, is basically getting a contract seal to find out her animal. I just, I don't know if that's something in canon or not. And they find out that Ino is... A wolf summoner. It's kind of random, but yeah, it'll be cool. So I'm just going to do that. And Naruto's still a tilt summoner. And Naruto summons Gamabunta, at least on his third try. You know, um, summons a fox. I mean, not a fox, a wolf. And they both somewhat learned the summoning jutsu. And, like, now they've been training in it. And they mastered the summoning jutsu. In a week, yes, and you know can giant summon a giant wolf. I I don't know if the wolves are supposed to be giant too, but I think they are. And um, Naruto can summon Gamabunta, and um, he gets a con. He somewhat gets. I'm gonna say he gets a he gets a contract with Gamabunta, and Eno gets her contract. And basically, Naruto. Oh, I forgot to go in detail. Um, Naruto had before he got the contact contract on Gamabunta. He basically um. He didn't no. He didn't get a contract seal with Gamabunta. But he has to stay on Gamabunta all day without falling off. And Naruto just placed seals on him, and it goes on like that all day. Naruto. 
nearly fell off three times, and the last moment he almost falls off, and then he uses the flying Raijin to get back up, and Gamabunta, he beat Gamabunta's challenge. So now, yeah, now Naruto's learning how to use some of the Nine Tails chakra, while Eno, Naruto, I mean, um, not uh. This is where Eno's training with Jiraiya stops because Jiraiya kind of doesn't have much to teach Eno. Oh yeah, Eno's chakra nature is she has wind, water, and um earth. Those are her chakra natures. And I'm pretty sure Jiraiya doesn't have any of those chakra natures. I'm not sure. He could have. So she starts training with awesome. No, not Asuma. Um she starts training with her father, Yama, the Yamanaka. I forgot his name. And, yeah, they start training. It's not much of a training. It's like a little sparring match, I guess. And Naruto learns how to use the Kibi, Kibi Chakra. And in this timeline, Naruto, um, Eno, let's just say Eno fought some random Sound 4, sound four Ninja. Yeah, let's just say that. And no, I have an even better idea. She fights Tamari. And Shikamaru fights some random Silent Four Ninja. He still he wins because Shikamaru is a little more motivated to train in this timeline. He wins his match. You know, um Tamari uses her wind attack, and Eno um, uses the wind pressure air air bullet to counter it. And then Eno ends up getting next to her, and long short story short, she ends up ending it with Rasengan. Now, Neji's fight with Naruto, Neji doesn't look too much down on Naruto because he knows about Naruto and how he's a prodigy and all that. And he gives them the speech about pure talent and skill and all that. And Naruto is just furious. He doesn't like Hinata, but Hinata was still a friend of his. So, yeah. And eventually that happens. And how their fight will go is Naruto basically doesn't start off with Kiwi Chakra. And they just start with a Taijutsu fight. And then Ed, Neji activates his Byakugan. And Naruto starts to um starts to um use some of his t- um techniques and he did learn the great um dragon great water dragon jutsu. He learned that and he used it against Neji and um Neji used his rotation. And Naruto got an opening and came behind Neji and had a Rasengan ready. But what Neji didn't know is he threw one right in front of him. Because he was going to rescind on him in the back. And Neji just used rotation. And he used the 64 palms technique. And Naruto de- teleported and rescind on him in his stomach. And Neji went flying and crashed. And he passed out. So that's how their fight went. And Sasuke was about to get disqualified. But he comes in with that cool entrance again. It wasn't that cool, but whatever. And yeah. He, um, him and got him and Gara's fight go the same in anime, and, uh, yeah, that's how that went, and, um, that's where we're gonna be leaving off, and I hope you guys enjoyed, can you please like, um, subscribe probably, or share this video, or even comment, I would, I'd really be grateful if you could do that for me, please. In my last video, I know it's not much to have 58 views, but it's a lot for me. And I'm thankful that you all liked my video. And thank you.